Hello! I'm finally back after... Oops. Yeah, it's been a while, and I'm sorry about that. I knew I was gonna have to come back with something big to make up for it. You saw the title, so you know what's up. Today, we are officially punching our way through the entire Souls trilogy. Specifically with the Caestus, or... Cestus, however it's pronounced. Besides my bare fists, it's the only weapon I'm allowed to use. Without further ado, let's jump right into it, and I hope you enjoy. Hello, everyone! It has been... way too long. <laughs> About four months. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, as you saw from the intro segment, we're gonna be doing the entire Dark Souls trilogy, but fist weapons only or just fist only, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, no doubt this is going to be a big undertaking, but I am excited. Uh, this will be my first video in a while, and hopefully I can just get back to making these on a more consistent schedule. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, I'm going to start as Pyromancer, weirdly enough. You'll see, you'll see why way later. All right, perfect. <laughs> So this is actually the second time I'm doing this run with uh, Dark Souls 1, uh, but it'll be the first time I've done it with the other two games in the series, uh, 2 and 3. And yeah, once again, I'm really sorry that it took me over four months to make a video. Life stuff kind of got in the way. I got a new job semi-recently, like a, like a couple months ago, and it ended up not working out too well. Basically, it was a remote job. Uh, they said I could get up to 30 hours a week, and it that did not end up being the case. It was really bad. Yeah, so thankfully now I'm back to playing Dark Souls instead of having a job. <laughs> Uh, it's cool though, because I can still go back to my other job, which I will probably end up doing alongside making videos. Oh man, this is, this is not a very good amount of damage, is it? We're gonna have to kill the Asylum Demon with that Pyromancy Flame. That is gonna be very important to the run, I promise, eventually. Uh, yeah! That sucked. <laughs> okay, we, we got about two damage a hit. Uh, how much health does the Asylum Demon have? It's all right, we can- we can push on through. I've- I've been through worse. So, uh, what are you up to? Honestly, this is still somehow less agonizing than doing the Demon Fire Sage with a plus zero dagger. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful start to these recording sessions, huh? <laughs> you know, I woke up bright and fucking early for this and uh this is this is what i have to look forward to huh this is this is my life now pressing r1 until the heat death of the fucking universe oh god wait oh wait my health is low oh no oh no okay we're safe we're all good hopefully oh we are so close please please just let it end oh my god it's finally over get the hell out of here <laughs> Oh, I never want to do that again. If I ever do that again in a video, um, I want you all to assume that someone is either holding me at gunpoint or threatening the lives of my loved ones. Good job. Thanks, Miyazaki. Mwah. Okay, yeah, I, I really want an actual weapon, so I think I'm just gonna beeline it straight for Andre <laughs> and get the Caestus or the Caestus, sir. Look, I don't know how the fuck to say this shit. Oh, you know what? We uh, also need to pick up the Sorcerer's Staff. Uh, this will be important way later. Like, around the time we get to uh, Anne Orlando. You know, some good things honestly did come from that uh, long-ass, four-month-long break from YouTube, though. One of which being I finally got to play Dragon Quest XI. That game's kind of been in my backlog for, I want to say, two years now? Uh, maybe even longer than that. But yeah, uh, I finally got to play Dragon Quest, and I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was great. I mean, it took me, like, a hundred and something out, I think 110 hours to get through, but I enjoyed virtually every second of it. Thought the characters were great, I love the gameplay, and it is a gorgeous game visually. Akira Toriyama really knows how to design characters, and it's highly unfortunate that he passed away. Apparently though, before he passed away, he actually did some work on Dragon Quest XII, so I guess that will officially be the last game that he worked on. Oh my god, this is taking forever. You know, I actually have some uh, interesting history with Akira Toriyama's work, and I'm not sure if anybody else can relate, but I feel like 
like unlike most people, I actually didn't grow up with any Akira Toriyama franchises. Uh, I didn't grow up with Dragon Ball, and I never read any of his other manga either. It wasn't until way later in life that I officially checked Dragon Ball out and eventually became a fan of it. I just remember being a kid and all the other kids talking about this show called like Dragon Ball Z and being like, what's that? No, 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 that sounds stupid. It's probably nothing. <laughs> I don't know, for whatever stupid childish reason I had, I I mostly avoided watching Dragon Ball uh, growing up. But then I wanna say sometime around 2017, uh, a friend of mine, she asked me, hey, do you wanna watch uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged with me? And I said to her, uh, I don't know, I've never watched Dragon Ball. You know, I might not really get it, you know, but she kind of talked me into it. She said like, oh, no, 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 no. Dragon Ball Z abridged is effectively just a, a really funny dub of the show. Kind of looked at it like, hmm, OK, I, I guess I wouldn't mind checking that out. And let me tell you, I am so glad that I did. I was pretty much instantly hooked. Like Dragon Ball Z abridged is so funny. It's so well produced. And you know what? I even like its weird, shitty early seasons. <laughs> Like, season one of Dragon Ball Z Abridged is so... It's so nostalgic, you know? It, it reeks of that late 2000s YouTube, like, grime. <laughs> and I'm hugely nostalgic for that, by the way. I grew up watching a lot of that, like, weird YouTube slop in, like, 2007, 2008. You know, not all of it was great. Um, there were definitely some, some kinks that needed to be ironed out. You know, a lot of us didn't necessarily have the most mature senses of humor at the time. Let's just say there are things that I'm very glad we've grown out of, but it's still an era that I have a lot of nostalgia and a lot of passion for, and I don't think that will ever truly go away. Ouch. Okay, this this already sucks. This already sucks by a lot. I kind of got sidetracked, but yeah, uh, my friend asked me if I wanted to watch Dragon Ball Z abridged, and we did. And we we actually watched the entire series together. And after finishing said series, I was kind of just like, wow, there was like a lot of love and a lot of passion poured into this series. Like, if these guys are willing to put this much effort and this much care and this much love towards a parody of a series they really love, there's gotta be something special here. So I went out of my way to watch quite literally all of Dragon Ball. Uh, barring GT, I still haven't seen GT yet. Maybe I will? I don't know, everybody says GT is bad. That scares me. You know, it's like, it's like a 60 something episode series and everybody says it's awful. But uh, barring that, I've watched all of the original series, I've watched all of Z, I've watched all of Super. Super is honestly kind of rough, <laughs> but most of it is really good. I especially love the original Dragon Ball series. It's so charming, it's so of its time, and you know, it's not. It's nowhere near perfect, but man, Akira Toriyama was a, he, he, had, a, he had a brilliant mind. He single-handedly crafted an experience that I feel like most 90s and 2000s kids just will never forget. I don't know, it makes me kind of sad. It makes me wish that I also grew up with Dragon Ball. I kind of I kind of feel like I missed out by not doing that. But you know, there's no use dwelling on it. What happens, happens. And I'm into it now, and that's all that matters. And I'm hoping Dragon Ball Daima will be good. Also, if you're wondering why I cleared out those enemies earlier, it's just so I can fight this guy one-on-one. -on -one. I just want a tight night shard, man. Let's go. Let me just say, full disclosure, this weapon is total ass. <laughs> I swear to God, it takes like eight times the effort to kill any given enemy with this piece of shit. All right, let's get this weapon upgraded. How much are we doing now? Uh, still not great, but definitely better. I could try to take on the gargoyles right now, or I could go to Undeadburg and grab some gold pine resin. You know what? It might be worth it to go get some pine resin. You know something? When you upload YouTube videos that are like primarily only consisted of your voice, you tend to get a lot of comparisons. I've been told I sound like some Netflix actors I've never heard of, you know, and obviously I get that sometimes. Uh, but I think the most startling one to me personally is uh, someone told me I sound like Chris Griffin. I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I, I really don't understand that. Like, I, I don't know. Do, do I? I don't really think I do. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know if any human being on the planet just naturally sounds like that. I feel like that is explicitly like a cartoon voice. Like, how else am I supposed to take that? <laughs>
but it's okay. What matters is that we got the pine resin, and hopefully that'll be enough to take down the gargoyles. Oh god, this part's gonna really suck. Oh, that was interesting. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> I don't have enough range to do this, man! Oh, <laughs> please. Okay, okay, we cleared the area out. Lotrek, baby girl, set me free. Whoa, that's honestly not bad. What is what is optimization really? Uh, optimization, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's cheating. Using the best strategy to win? Yeah, that's cheating. Using game mechanics? Cheating. Sorry, I'm being obnoxious. <laughs> and now we walk all the way back to Firelink. Oh, hello there. Oh, there's multiple guys. They came to say hello. Oh, there's a lot of them. What? What? What the fuck? Hold, hold on, I have to optimize my strategy real quick. <laughs> oh, oh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, we're not. Fuck. <laughs> Man, maybe someday I'll be good at these games. All right, I actually wanna get, I wanna get my intelligence up to 15 for later and my vitality up to 20. And that'll probably be the vitality I stick with for the rest of the game. 20 vitality plus the ring of favor and protection is plenty, I think. Uh. Where's Lotrek? What? Where is Lotrek at? I've straight up never seen that before. Well, if the gargoyles were that easy with the uh, pine resin, then this guy ought to be super easy. Whoa. Yeah, that is, that's perfectly reasonable. And there we go, that that literally took like five seconds. Ah oh, man, doing lower on Deadbird without a shield is gonna suck. Oh, I love bleed damage, I love it, I love it. All right, come on. One by one, all of you. There we go. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I fucking hate this place. I need to employ lots of hit and run tactics. Even that doesn't seem to be working. As long as I can get the Capra Demon by himself, I should be fine. Okay, off to a phenomenal start. Best boss in the game. Oh, best boss in the game. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. Dark Souls 1 is perfect, it's a masterpiece. Okay, okay. The rest should be easy as long as I don't get hit unnecessarily. Oh, he doesn't take much damage, does he? I hate you. <laughs> We're almost there. And we got him. Whoo, okay. <laughs> you know what? Before even setting foot in the depths, I'm gonna go sit at Firelink. Lotrek still isn't there. Oh, no, no, there he is. I was getting worried for a second. <laughs> I was like, am I not gonna be able to get the ring? Hi, Lotrek. Bye, Lotrek. Oh, wait, oops. Uh, nothing. Nope, nope. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we are never taking this ring off. I'm gonna get my endurance to 15, and then I'm gonna start working on uh, strength and dexterity. All right, let's go grab the uh, large ember. Wow, okay, wow, this sucks, this sucks. Backstab? Wow, you do not take much damage at all, do you? Large ember, and let's get the hell out of here. So now we're gonna go straight down to Blight Town, kill Quaylog, which hopefully won't take a goddamn century. But while I'm down here, there's something else I wanna grab first. Oops. Ooh. Oh man, we were so close. <laughs> there we go, we got it. Let's just, oh, you know what? I don't care if I die there. <laughs> yes, this is gonna make our life so much easier. All right, I wanna test this out. That's honestly, for a plus five Kestis, that isn't bad in the slightest. This almost feels too easy. Oh no, my pine resin ran out. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh, that damage is very not good. My power within ran out too. Oh, this damage is very bad. Look at that. I mean, as long as I just simply don't get hit, that's fine. Dude, this is taking fucking forever. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Back up, back up, back up, back up. It would be really unfortunate to get one shot by that. <laughs> Listen, I know the DPS is horrible right now, but trust, trust, I have a plan. There we go, finally. Man, this weapon sucks. <laughs> it, it'll get more optimized though, trust me. I promise. I mean, we might as well kill Ceaseless Discharge early. Why not? Come on, big fella. I got something to show you. 
All right, the fight is over. <laughs> bye bye. All right, let's head back to Firelight Shrine. Is anybody else really excited for uh, Monster Hunter Wilds? I know for a fact I fucking am. Monster Hunter is one of those series that I've gotten really really into in recent years. The first one I played was uh, Monster Hunter 4 for the 3DS. And I'll be honest, I liked it, but it was a rough experience. I, th I think your first Monster Hunter game is always gonna be kind of rough around the edges, especially when you're a solo player, uh, like I am, and you don't really have uh, people to consult about what you're doing wrong and how you can play the game better. <laughs> But you know, the more I played, the more I learned, and uh, that has definitely made each game that has come out after 4 way easier for me to get into. As of now, I've played, I've played 4, I've played Freedom Unite, I've played Generations Ultimate, Rise, and World. Uh, I'm actually working my way through Iceborne for the first time. I've, I've literally never done Iceborne before, and I decided that I should at least try to finish it before Wilds comes out. Honestly, I'm kind of considering maybe doing some Monster Hunter content, like maybe doing a couple videos on Wilds when it comes out. In fact, I wanted to do a series where I played through Monster Hunter 3 for the first time. I don't know, I thought something like that would be fun if I just uploaded like uh, an hour long video every so often of like silly Monster Hunter 3 moments. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm holding on to 25,000 souls, don't worry, it's because I'm going to uh, use them to buy large Titanite shards at the, at the merchant up here. Oh, fuck. In the pit, please. No, that was so stupid. Why did I R1 there? Oh, and he fell in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's blocking my souls. Come on, man. Okay, we got it. <laughs> and we're safe. You know what? I don't think we're gonna need all 25K of those souls because we only need to buy two large Titanite shards and I'm pretty sure they're only like 2,500 each. Oh, they're 4,000 each. Oops. <laughs> Good thing I saved this soul. Now, before moving on, I'm actually gonna go upgrade my case disc to plus 10. Uh, that still sucks. <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of damage we're working with here. It's, it's not gonna be good. Actually, I am, oh, wait, no, 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 wait, no. I'm alive? Do not get up and fall down. Okay. <laughs> wait, can we knock him down? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> that easily could have gone way worse. This build is coming together. Yeah, honestly. This might even end up being, uh, dare I say it, viable? Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> well, okay, well, what was the point? If you were gonna kill yourself, then what was the point? Good luck. I, I really don't like that fucking picture of Frampt. Like, he looks like he's harassing you. Wait, stop. 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 I am I am at point blank range, dude. Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I salvaged it somehow. All right, he's going off the cliff. God, that was so awkward. That was so awkward and, and bad and weird. You know, I'm gonna run down here and grab this just in case. You know, if, if, a, if a skill issue were to occur, then this would come in handy. Let's see how much damage. I, come on. Okay, I've seen worse. I've definitely played with worse. Oh, shit. Oh, interesting. All right, we're doing decent. Just need to not fuck it up. Come on, can you two split up, please? We're not gonna be going into phase two with much Estus. Okay, we got him. Thankfully, Super Ornstein isn't too bad. I mean, the damage is really bad here, but at least his moveset is easy to avoid. Ah, my nose itches. Chat, scratch my nose for me. <laughs> there is no chat. This is pre-recorded. Oh no, no, we ran out of great magic weapon. This is officially going to be a very slow fight from now on. We're almost there. Don't fuck it up now. All right. G fucking G. That only took two tries. 
Not bad at all. I'm actually pretty... I'm, I'm very okay with that. So now comes a kind of complicated choice of what boss to do next. I kind of want to save four kings until I have a lot more DPS. Like, until I've got 40 in both strength and dexterity, which hopefully I'll have close to by the time I get there. What I'll probably do is I'll probably drain Nulando Ruins and farm for Titanite Chunks, then get my Kestis to plus 15, and then go and do the other bosses. And hopefully by the time I do all of that, I will have enough DPS to survive the Four Kings fight. I kind of want to get Lost Izalith just out of the way. <laughs> but before that, I'm going to do Sif. This one's basically an easy win. I can barely hit her. God, this range sucks. Alright, Sif, hitting you is hard enough without you jumping all over the damn place. It's okay, despite all of that, she is close to death. Nice. I just realized I forgot to grab both Titanite chunks that dropped from the giants in Sen's Fortress. How did I forget to do that? Maybe the drops are still there? I could go check. Oh god, I hope those drops are still there. Well, shit. That sucks. Well, I'm gonna have to do a lot of farming, so I will make sure to cut that out. Oh god, oh god, this is, this is going horribly. Watch this. Yeah, That actually worked better than I thought it would. You are not intended to play the game this way. FromSoft really made it a point to demonstrate why you shouldn't play the game like this. This is wrong. What I'm doing is incorrect. You know, you know, Dark Souls fans always say it all the time, like, oh, you're playing the game wrong. Uh, and, and for the most part, that's not true. You know, pe people say that with stuff like, dude, leveling health, you're, you're playing the game wrong. Just level strength. No. No, this, this is an example of playing the game wrong. What I'm doing, it is entirely factually incorrect. It's provably, mathematically, scientifically incorrect. Can't I just make Minecraft Let's Plays instead? <laughs> All right, we fucking made it through, Jesus Christ. All right, now the farming off screen starts. Hooray. Oh, finally, man. <laughs> That took way, way longer than I wanted it to. All right, Andre, give me the sauce. Nice, beautiful plus 15 Kestis or Cestus. I still don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> All right, time to do this fuck ass area. <laughs> hey, bud. Remember the last video? Oh, you gave me a lot of trouble in the last video. Not this time, though. Yeah, I am shredding through this guy's health bar. And get out of here. I never want to see your face again. All right, next. Whoa, 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 whoa. Took a lot of damage there. Come on, go ahead and die. You and I both know how this ends. All right, buddy, see you later. Okay, now Bed of Chaos is just gonna be a pain in the ass, but that's why I kind of want to get it over with right away, so I don't have to deal with it later. Uh, let's just get this over with. You know, there isn't even anything interesting to show here besides just bed of chaos same old same old shittiest boss in the fucking world ah oh, god i hate you so much Ooh, okay we're all good did that one shot oh my god i fucking hate you <laughs> See, this boss isn't even fun to do on challenge runs because it doesn't feel like there's any skill involved, you know? Okay. Okay, Better Chaos. All right. All right. Okay. Worst, worst boss of the run is out of the way. Done with. Done for. All right. Next, let's go down to the catacombs. I'm just going to do the skip. I don't even care. I do this pretty much every single time now. So I'm wondering, fully buffed, how much damage are we gonna do to Pinwheel? All right, let's see here. That's plenty. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. You know what, May maybe in the remake, you know? May maybe in the Dark Souls remake, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be a direct threat. You never know. Oh, hello. You can go now. Oh God, you can really go now. Hello. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Get out of here. Okay, it's okay. I missed the repose, but it's fine. You know, I kind of hate that you have to take damage when you fall into this arena. I kind of don't like that. I made a divine case this off screen. Sue me. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? No! No, I wasn't fully paying attention. Oh my god, that's like the fourth time he's done that. Okay, I got the skeletons. Whew. Now Nito himself, honestly, isn't going to be too bad. Yeah, this damage is like 
pretty reasonable. And there we go. No more Nito. I'm thinking next I'll do the Duke's archives. That way I can save four kings for very, very last when I've squeezed about as much DPS out of this build as I can. You know something? I never learned how to do the uh, archive skip. Yeah, where you, you like jump off the elevator and you get on one of those. I never learned how to do that. I probably should. It'd probably be very useful. <laughs> I'll never truly be good at Dark Souls until I've learned how to do the archive skip. All right, Seath, go ahead and kill me. Wait, just don't curse me. Just don't curse me. You can kill me, but do not curse me, please. There we go. Don't curse me. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Seriously, why can you still get cursed even after you die? Why? Honestly, the DPS is really coming around. I mean, look at that. That's pretty damn decent, considering how fucking awful this weapon was at first. <laughs> Honestly, I would really like to learn the archive skip because uh, I hate doing this part. I don't know why. It just feels so tedious. Maybe I'm just a very impatient player. In all honesty, I probably am just impatient. I mean, I also hate starting new characters in Elden Ring. I don't know, it just... It takes so long to recollect all the flask upgrades and all the tears and all the fucking golden seeds and I don't know, it just takes so damn long. It's like I'd rather just replay the game on New Game Plus and have it be a fucking boss rush, you know? This is a bit of a non sequitur, but does anybody else actually listen to their Spotify weekly? Like I try to every single week and it always sucks. And not because like the specific songs they show me are bad, but because Spotify seems to think I only want to listen to one genre of music. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a big metal guy. Uh, I've got a massive playlist just full of all sorts of different genres of metal. You know, I've got everything in there from like thrash metal to death metal, metal core, death core, math core, all the cores. I've got some weird avant-garde stuff in there. You know, there's just, there's just a ton of variety in that playlist. But for some reason, my Spotify weekly playlist only wants to show me metal core and metal core adjacent music. It's like, why? There are other genres of metal. It's like, I like metal core. I like listening to it, but I don't only want to listen to it. I like, I like variety. Hey, can you kill that clam? Can you kill the clam? Clam, please? Clam? Okay. Well, if y'all are just gonna ignore each other, then there's not much I can do, is there? I can't see. <laughs> what the fuck? That did so much damage. God damn. I am not having a good Seath fight, am I? Okay. <laughs> that kinda sucked. I can't see. Once again, I can't see. Just wailing on this poor creature. Okay, well, you know what? I guess he's not necessarily a poor creature. You know, Seath, Seath is kind of fucked up. Just a little more, and we got him. Okay, that just leaves uh, four kings, which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> like my DPS is okay, but I don't know if it's four kings okay. You know, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll just see what happens. All right, here we are. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, come on, not this already, man. At least give me good RNG. Okay, I mean, it's bad. It's bad, but I think I can make it work. Unless he just keeps me away from him at all fucking times. That was some garbage. All right, let's try this again. Dude, fuck you, fuck you. Dude, stop this bullshit. What the fuck? Okay, got one king. Moving on to the next. I have to kill these guys as quickly as possible. I have a feeling another one is about to spawn very soon. I don't exactly know the the timer on which they spawn. Is it like every 60 seconds? Something like that. There's another one. Okay. We did it. It was hectic and stressful, but we did it. Which means we can officially finish the first game of this video. You know, in hindsight, I'm pretty surprised Four Kings only took two tries. I expected that to be a, an hour-long, miserable grind, but it really wasn't. I mean, I wouldn't say the case this is fucking viable, but it's gotten me this far. The badass barehanded parry. Come on. Boom. That damage isn't even that bad, like... That's doable. Take a swig. Slow hit. Boom. And another hit. There we go. We got this. One more parry. It's all over. It's over. Fucking first try? Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, man. That was probably the cleanest Gwyn fight of my entire life. Wow. Dark Souls 1, Casus only.
Done. I'll see you in the next game. All right, here we are in Dark Souls 2. Let's just go ahead and start. You know, after my Dark Souls 2 video, I actually went out of my way to play more Scholar of the First Sin afterwards. Honestly, I wanted to give it like a, a fair chance. I mean, I feel like I said a lot of things about the game in that video that <laughs> maybe weren't necessarily the most fair about it. And like, I'm not, I don't want to be like that. I, I like Dark Souls 2. In fact, uh, after all those replays, I think I genuinely prefer Scholar of the First Sin over base DS2. At least I do now. I want to be like an ugly fuck. Uh, okay, may maybe not that ugly. <laughs> Why is it always red? Why does the skin color always default to red? Oh, that does not look good. You know what? F I, I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Let's just go in with this fucker. But yeah, as I was saying... Oh, why am I auto-blocking? Did I hit something on my keyboard? Uh, Z, uh, X, C, V, uh, M? Okay, okay. There we go. Uh, Dark Souls 2 is so fucking weird. <laughs> but yeah, um, speaking of which, I did genuinely say a lot of things about this game that weren't necessarily the most fair in that video. I don't know, there, there were moments in that video where I did blame the game for my own misdeeds and you know that's not necessarily fair in fact some people got very annoyed at me for it and you know what fair <laughs> i just i'm only addressing it because i don't want to i don't want to paint the picture that i dislike this game or that i'm repeating the same criticisms that other people give the game. In reality, I really like Dark Souls 2, and while it may not be my favorite in the series, it definitely is still one of my favorite games of all time. I would rather play Dark Souls 2 than most AAA games, and I'm, I'm being genuine about that. I think Dark Souls 2 is an amazing game. I think if you haven't played it, you should. And generally, I just don't want to spread any unnecessary negativity towards it, because generally, I think the gaming space already has too much fucking negativity. I do not like video game discourse in the slightest. You know, I much prefer to talk about the things that I actually enjoy in video games. I know with a lot of modern video game discussion, there's this sort of hesitancy to admit that you like something <laughs> for some fucking reason, but I do. I like Dark Souls 2, and I will say it loud and clear, and I won't shit on the game as much as I did in the last video, in this video. And that's a probably goat promise. Oh, I just realized that I probably shouldn't have this shield equipped, should I? That's breaking the rules! I mean, I didn't explicitly say that I'm not allowed to use shields, but I implied it, kinda. I really need soul items. Because if I remember correctly, the case has cost like a thousand souls. And uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to run past a lot of enemies, which Dark Souls 2 does not like. Oh God! <laughs> I'm already in a bad spot. Yeah, You know what? That is not- that damage is not that bad at all for just using my bare fists. The good thing about this is that your fists can't break. Or at least I fucking hope they can't. Can you imagine breaking your fucking hand in a Souls game? Like, I can't imagine the healthcare system in Drang Lake is all that great. I mean, look at these guys. They're clearly dehydrated. <laughs> You know what, I might as well clear these guys out just to make my life a little bit easier. I really wasn't expecting to do this amount of damage. <laughs> it's not good, but it's more usable than I thought it would be. What's great about this is it barely uses any stamina and it stun locks them. So even though the damage is kind of bad, it's like still perfectly usable. Oh, fuck off. All right, one guy left. Get him. Ooh, backstab. There we go. Ugh. there's a plane flying by. Can you hear it? I live like right next to an airport. <laughs> oh God. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I got stun locked. I have to play oh so carefully. Save me, old woman. Save me. All right. Looks like I've got uh, plenty to buy the case this. How much is this even going to help though? It adds a cool 45 damage. Uh, what if I buy two of them? Can I power stance these? Oh, wait, wait. I might be onto something here. That moveset's kind of sick. <laughs> Oh, I can't reach the crystal lizard. It's too close to the ground. Oh no. I think the range of this build is going to kill me more than anything. All right, time to test this on an actual enemy. That isn't horrible, actually. That really chewed through my fucking durability though. Jesus Christ. Oh, he only sells one repair powder. Uh-oh. 
Oh no! And I, I can't even buy it. That's just like salt in the wound, man. Oh man, durability is gonna be a huge problem, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can at least take down the pursuer. Hey there, buddy. Let's see. Oh, that damage is really bad. Uh, help. Pursuer, help. One of your buddies got up here. Actually, we're kind of doing all right. I think the power stancing is helping a lot. Maybe the durability on these just isn't as bad as I thought. We got it. That was pretty fucking clean, all things considered. I'll tell you what. Instead of leveling up, let's buy all the Titanite shards we can and just get my Caestus leveled up. So yeah, let's go ahead and reinforce our Caestus. And there we go. Both are now plus three. And we still got plenty left over to actually level up. Hey dude, can I have your armor? Wrong answer, man. All right, come on. Do I feel bad about that? Not really. I mean, th think of the reward. Actually, I've got an idea. Come here, I need you for something. Can you smack this open? Thank you. <laughs> I've always loved how the sound effects in Dark Souls 2 kind of like peak the audio digitally. <laughs> you ever seen part two of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure where all the sound effects are constantly like blowing the microphone out of existence? Or I guess rather your speakers. Oof, man, it is really hard to crowd control with these fucking weapons. In fact, there practically is no crowd controlling with these weapons. You know something I don't think I mentioned in my last video? Majula is by far my favorite Dark Souls, like, hub area. Like, there's something just so nice about it. I love the music. I love the atmosphere. It's just so nice. I, I fucking love Majula, dude. There is another fucking plane. I... I hate living here. You know, I, I feel like this is almost too easy to be considered a challenge run. This is kind of just a normal playthrough of Dark Souls 2 at this point. Like, look at how much damage I'm doing. That's that's a little unreasonable. Th this, this isn't really a challenge run, is it? But you know, that kind of is one of this game's virtues in a way. I feel like in DS2, there are like a wider array of potential viable builds than like Dark Souls 3, for instance. I mean, DS3 doesn't have power stancing, and I feel like that by itself kind of lessens the amount of builds you can do. Oh, oh, oh dear. Why is he in the water there? <laughs> what, what's going on with that? <laughs> All right, this time I won't die to gravity, hopefully. You know, fighting this big dragon in like punching at its ankles is, uh, it's triggering my fucking Monster Hunter instincts. It's like, all right, Rathalos, let's go. I mean, I have been playing a shit ton of Monster Hunter lately. I actually finished Iceborne's story about a week ago. I thought it was pretty good. I liked all the new monsters, or actually, I liked most of the new monsters. <laughs> you know, I don't like fighting Brachidios in any Monster Hunter game, but that's a given. And I really hated fighting Black Veil Vol Hazak. Dude, fuck that fucking monster. It's not a particularly difficult fight. I just hate that particular monster's, like, design. I generally dislike any monster whose whole gimmick is like, I will place things on the floor that you cannot step in lest you be debuffed. And yeah, you can equip a uh, Fluvia resistance to get rid of the debuff, but it still damages you. It, it punishes you just for, I don't know, existing? <laughs> Sorry, that's that's all Monster Hunter talk. I, I don't know if any of my subscribers are even remotely interested in Monster Hunter. Goodbye, Ornstein. That wasn't bad at all, actually. Man, can't I just get this chest? Do I really have to go through you? I mean, when they're solo, these guys aren't very hard. Just kind of annoying. Like, why do they have so much damn health? Or rather, defense? Yeah, this guy takes more damage than the fucking Hide Knights do. <laughs> okay, the Caestuses are like more durable than I thought. Oh my god. All right, just die. Just die so I can go level up adaptability and fucking get it over with. All right, give me those sweet, sweet iframes. I remember this was the area that I called um, super ganky in my last video. And you know, after replaying Scholar a couple of times, it's not really? In retrospect, I really don't think this area is all that ganky. In fact, I've come to the conclusion that Scholar the First Sin is actually less ganky than vanilla Dark Souls 2. You just have to play like kind of slow and kind of meticulously, which can get boring sometimes, but it's really, it's not that bad really. You know, just uh, don't die too much. Simply don't die and it won't be boring. <laughs> Buddy, I see you. Don't act like I can't see you. Get down. See ya. <laughs> I can't, I can't hit these. <laughs> I can't. No, please. 
Oh man, all right. Guess I'm not allowed to have those in this playthrough. All right, let's get this area over with. Like I said earlier, this this barely even feels like a challenge run, quote unquote. It just feels like a build. <laughs> Yeah, that really wasn't very hard. See, I'm almost kind of disappointed. We haven't had any moments of like needing to punch the asylum demon to death for like 25 minutes. In this game, punches kill relatively quickly. Does that make the bearer of the curse like the buffest of them all? Dude, he's stacked. He's stacked. Look at those muscles. Even his shadow kind of makes him look like he has like big boxing gloves on. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of see this as like Little Mac. You know what else I've been playing lately, weirdly enough? Um, Fortnite. I don't, I don't know why. Some friends actually recently convinced me to play it again after not having played it since like 2017, 2018. And by that, I mean, I saw them all playing it in a Discord call and I was like, hey, that looks fun. And I started playing Fortnite. <laughs> You know, somewhere maybe deep down, there's a TikTok zoomer inside of all of us. Ah, uh, the kids nowadays in their skibbities in their toilets. Back in my days, we had Team Fabulous 2. I will just say, Fortnite does not feel like a real video game. <laughs> Even when you're playing it, it, it kind of very distinctly feels like a fake video game that you would see in like a TV show or something. It does not feel like a real video game made by real people. Maybe that's just due to how like, corporate it is like no think about think about the logistics of fortnite existing you can play as dragon ball z characters wielding realistic assault rifles driving cars like it's fucking halo running over the fucking characters from avatar the last airbender and pretty much every marvel superhero in existence it's like you you would think i'm fucking crazy You'd say there's no way that could exist. That's too ridiculous an idea. But no, we we just live in a timeline where this fucking game exists. Sorry, I got I got a little heated. I tend to get heated when the conversation of Fortnite comes up. You know what? Maybe that's why Fortnite's so successful. Because conceptually, if if you explain Fortnite to somebody, it sounds like something a fucking grade schooler would make up. You're in fourth grade and you see like your your friend sitting next to you drawing something. It's like, hey, hey, John, what are you drawing? He's like. I'm drawing a game where Goku can shoot people with a gun. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that sounds cool, John. How'd you come up with that? And then John turns to you and says, I don't know, Phil. Sometimes I just see things in my dreams. I don't know why I made this kid like a like a psychic that can see the future in his dreams. This, this bit is over. This conversation about Fortnite has gone on long enough. You know something? This build is extremely fun. Like it may not be very challenging, but it is really fun to just go around decking everything in the face like a fucking boxer. I mean, the build being as viable as it is is kind of sick, to be honest. Wait, what the fuck? Has that... Oh, wait, what the hell? I have so many hours in Dark Souls 2 and I've, I've never noticed that up there before. Okay, I'm gonna break the rules of this run just for a second. What does that drop? What? Has that always been there? <laughs> I've never noticed that before. Why is that even there? I can't be the only one who's never seen that before. Dude looks completely dead. <laughs> Bro is ready to be buried. Oh man, this area gave me a lot of trouble in the last video. I'm pretty sure this was the one I had to do missing all my health, right? Oh yeah, yeah, because I had to, I had to no hit the lost sinner. Uh, to some degree, I'm more thankful to be doing a more casual playthrough. Just, just kind of being here makes my like anxiety flare up, like I'm still gonna die in one hit. Having to do that fully traumatized me. I mean, it took forever. You, I mean, you didn't see it in the video because I cut most of it out, but man, that took a long ass time. You know, I feel a bit over prepared for this fight. <laughs> Maybe I should make myself one shot away from death just to make it fair. Oh my God, we we no hit it again. That was pretty fucking solid. You know, I just, I just looked down at my pocket and notice that the flashlight on my phone was on. How long has that been on? Interesting things happening today in the in the goat household. All right, how's it going, love? Could you be a dad and move the pillow for me? Thank you. You know, for as much as I like this game, I think putting this guy here is kind of a dick move. Oh, I'm alive. <laughs> what the fuck? Look, I don't know how I did that. Like, I just, I just barely survived. Oh, 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 go away, go away. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks to this area too. The one where I had to switch to keyboard and mouse. Hello, Rowena. Let's see how we fare against our first NPC. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna be real, dude. I think these might be overpowered. Like, 
Oh my god! That was nothing! Th this is not a challenge run. This, this is just a normal playthrough. I almost feel bad putting this in the video, to be honest. But I don't know, it's still fun. You know, we're hanging out, we're having a good time. Nothing wrong with that, you know? Some runs can just be nice and casual and relaxing. Alright, let's see this damage. That is so reasonable, it is ridiculous. Okay, this might be a bit difficult since I can't crowd control very well. Spin. Spin to win. Spin. <laughs> I mean, I could just spam L1. I could just spam L1 and tank all the hits. Yeah, that wasn't really much at all. Come on, let me hit at least one of these guys. Oh, wait. Oh my god. I found a way. The myth. The legend. The covetous demon. I love this stupid fucking boss. Come on, th this boss design is peak. FromSoft may never reach these heights again. Covetous Demon clears every Elden Ring boss, every Dark Souls 3 boss, every Dark Souls 1 boss, for that matter. He's just objectively the best. And if you can't see that, that's not my fucking problem. Poison yourself. No, poison yourself. I don't want to have to fight you. I don't want to have to engage with game mechanics. God, here's another boss I- whoops, here's another boss I had no hit. Wow, I am dealing a lot of damage to her. And there we go. No big deal at all. I, I feel like I have to apologize about how tame this run is. Where's the brutal, soul-crushing difficulty? I didn't sign up for this. This is a fun game. <laughs> I hate having fun. I'm mad about this. I'm gonna go on Twitter and complain about it. Now, I'm really curious about these guys. Wow. All right, let's just kind of comb through here, clear all the enemies out. I mean, look at that fucking damage. We are just overpowered. I I've been saying that. I've been commenting on it repeatedly, but I, I feel overpowered. Maybe I should have just restricted myself to not power stancing this. I don't know. Power stancing it is fun, though. I mean, I'm just a, I'm just a goddamn boxer. Oh, wait a second. This isn't Dark Souls 2. Oh, fuck. I put in punch out for the Wii by accident. Hey, look, there's King Hippo. Yeah, that is um some very decent damage. Oh, whoops, that was a bad dodge. I, I mean, uh, uh, adaptability. And there we go. Almost on to our second great soul. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh, my fucking god. Don't worry, comment section. I got the bonfire this time. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's fine. Let's see what we're doing. That is so fine. Yeah, this boss fight isn't going to last very long. There we go. I feel like I am absolutely tearing through this game right now. Let's go down into the depths, into the unbeknownst. Uh oh. Okay, I survived. <laughs> I don't know why Souls games insist on having these downwards platforming sections. It, it really doesn't work. And that's not necessarily a Dark Souls 2 issue. I mean, Bloodborne did that too. Boom. Oh, wait. Parry? Fuck. Wait. I got it this time. Wait, I got it this time. Wait, I got it this time. <laughs> You know something strange? I think I have the most fun recording Dark Souls 2. Like, it's just such a fun game to run, you know? Dude, even one-handed, this, this build is completely fine. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Nope. I tried to run through the area. That's my bad. My bad. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Yes, I will. All right, this time I will successfully skip everything. You know, I don't understand the point of putting this statue here. Like, there's a- there's a fragrant branch right outside the area. What's the point? Uh, he appears to be a bit stuck. That's fine. Okay. All right. Oh, I love this area. I love it. Just- I fucking love it! Hey, buddy. Remember me? Doing this boss is a lot more comfortable when you're allowed to dodge. There we go. Like I said, we are fucking plowing through this game. Forlorn. I didn't know he could invade here. Hey, bud. Can you leave me be? All right. I know how to deal with this guy. Oh, no, I don't. Come on. There we go. What a bastard. Have you ever just sat and listened to the ambience in the shaded woods? It's fucking creepy. I don't, I don't know why, but this area makes me very unsettled. I said in one of the previous videos that Dark Souls 2 is an incredibly atmospheric game, and I still, I still think so. Ah, uh, damn it! I tried to get on her back. <laughs> I guess I won't. That's quote unquote cheating. But like, it, it doesn't fucking matter. The boss is not going to be very hard. See, I told you. 
Uh, there we go. No big deal at all. By the way, no. I'm not doing the Royal Rat Authority. Look, I'm, tr I'm trying to be more positive towards this game in this video. If I do the Royal Rat Authority, that will all go out the fucking window. I hate that fucking boss. <laughs> you know something? I'm not even mildly arachnophobic. Like, this scenery does nothing to me. The one time spiders distinctly made me uncomfortable was when I played Kingsfield 4. I don't know what it is about that game. The, the spiders in Kingsfield are just very distinctly creepy. And I'm not sure what makes them any different than any other video game spider. Perhaps it's just the, the first person perspective that did it to me. By the way, if you've never played Kingsfield 4, uh, Kingsfield the Ancient City, uh, you, you, you get on that. You get on that. That game is a banger. It may take an hour to turn, but it's a banger. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. Why is he so strong? Come on. Why the hell is his defense so damn high? Jesus fucking Christ. There you go. I'm glad every game in the Soul series has, like, a pinwheel. <laughs> oh, I, I just straight up fell. That was just an accident. I didn't click my thumbstick in time. Why does this specific basilisk have no eyes? What's wrong with this dude? Oh, that is a lot of spiders. You know, maybe I've never been much an arachnophobe because I played Ocarina of Time as a kid. Like, the gold sculptulas did nothing for me. They didn't freak me out. They didn't make me uneasy. They were just kind of there. I think, like, the possessed spider people in Kakariko Village probably freaked me out more than the sculptulas did. I wonder if its head will pop off. I'm gonna try to punch his head off. I don't exactly know the requirements for punching the head off, but I'm gonna try to do it. Come on, punch the head off. God damn it. Well, I did my best. I just realized I have two sublime bone dusts. Look, I, I just don't use Estus very often in Dark Souls 2. I just I just forget. You know, if this video does well, I was actually thinking about um, doing some more of these like full series playthroughs. Like maybe I could do a video just beating the entire series with only whips, something like that. Oh, oh, I, I did it again. I just, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings. Oh, that's embarrassing. How did I do that twice in the same day, no less? And I'm all the way back here. I'm so far. Yeah, that, that was just me being stupid. I promise I'll never be stupid again. <laughs> and there we go. That's how you get through this part. Like a intelligent thinking human being. I think the only thing that's going to suck about this area is my lack of poise damage. Nice one. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. You know what? Fine, fine. Maybe, maybe I deserve that one. Best boss in the game, baby. That damage is pretty decent, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I've said that a lot. If you want to make your life so much easier in this boss fight, just focus this guy. He has way less health. If you're ever doing any, like, low DPS challenge runs, this will probably save your life. Then the last dude just isn't a threat at all. And there he goes. See ya, buddy. Look at this guy. He's just mad that I didn't fight him earlier. Honestly, it's a bit of a shame that I always default to using the Seldora set in Dark Souls 2, because the game has so many, like, really sick-looking armor sets. My personal favorite being the uh, knights from the Shrine of Amana. Their armor set is just so sick. It's really, like, one of my favorites in the game, but I, I just never use it. It looks really cool, but that sweet, sweet soul gain is just so <laughs> hard to pass up. I'm sure a lot of you know what I mean. I mean, the amount of souls you get from bosses in this game is just like, ooh. So tasty. Okay, well maybe tasty is a weird word for it. But you know what I mean, it's like, it's irresistible. I wanna, I, n number go up. Uh, I wanna see number go up. I'm a very simple guy. I wanna see number go up. I guess that's the science behind uh, Cookie Clicker, yeah? I have a friend who plays a lot of Cookie Clicker. It is the quintessential number go up video game that I do not play. Ironically enough, simply because I don't have the attention span for it. This guy looks like he plays Cookie Clicker though. I mean, look at him. Come on, just a few more hits. This should be it. As soon as he's done with that shield, yep. Yeah, that was not bad in the slightest. I am kind of dreading the Shrine of Amana, but let's be real, I always am. <laughs> I want to meet the, uh, the absolute freak whose favorite area in the series is the Shrine of Amana. There's got to be at least one of you. To be frank, you can tell me why you like it, but do so at least 50 feet away from me at all times. Oh boy. There it is. I don't know. This won't be too bad. You know, there are worse things in life, I feel like, you know? Yeah, see, these are the guys I was talking about. They have the sickest armor set in the fucking game. You know, in my opinion, that's, you know, purely subjective. 
Oh, he dropped his boots, his fancy boots. No, I, I, I gotta look away. Peel my eyes away. Think of the soul gain. It's what you're here for. Imagine if I just stopped the video to sit here and farm that fucking armor set for like an hour. <laughs> That's the thing, I, I would too. I absolutely am one of those freaks. Oh, okay. I could not get away in time there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy fuck, that is a lot of those fucking guys. All right, I'm making a break for it. Oh, I shouldn't have run past them. I really shouldn't have. I should have learned my lesson about running past enemies in the last fucking video. Oh my God. Let me out here, please. Let me out of here. Oh, I'm fully dead, aren't I? Okay, there it is. Yeah, okay. Oh, this fucking area. Okay, to be fair, that was my fault. It's not the game's fault that I stupidly aggroed and ran past everything. I acknowledge that. Still don't like how many fucking enemies there are here, though. Get them one at a time. Take it nice and easy. And there you go. You know, this area looks very pretty. You know, it, it's gorgeous visually. But man, do I just dislike playing through it. Putting this here to block this cave exit is just mean, honestly. This is like mean game design. You know what? Just die. I don't need to repair any of my shit right now. My question is if the soul gain still works when the equipment's broken. I genuinely have no idea. That feels like one of those like hyper specific questions you need to ask like a, like a souls YouTuber. Like top 10 things you didn't know about armor in Dark Souls. I love those YouTubers by the way. I love hearing fun little tidbits about my favorite games. People like uh, Zuli the Witch and uh, Limit Breakers. Both are very good at what they do. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, oh god that's not gonna kill me is it? Oh wait. Okay I'm alive. <laughs> Just barely. Fuck this guy's face in particular. And there we go. I am still doing a very respectable amount of damage, considering both of these are still only plus six. Come on, let me through. Let me through, I don't have time for all this shit. I don't have time. Let me through. They're all bound to be right behind me. Oh, yup, yo, oh my god, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what just fucking happened. Oh shit. Oh man, this is so bad. Uh, I don't know which way to go. This way, hit, hit the switch. Uh, this is why you don't run past enemies in this game. It is very bad to do. Make it through, make it through, make it through, make it through, make it through. Okay, okay. We're all good. Now we can just do the boss in relative peace. Yeah, you know, that is unless I get hit by fucking everything. It's just my range, man. It is not good. I need to get so up close and personal. He's only got a little bit of health left. Come on, stop moving around so damn much. And he's done for. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. I have to say, I think this is by far the creepiest imagery that has ever existed in any fucking Souls game. <laughs> yeah, this whole part is so fucking eerie. All right, we got both of our castuses leveled up. So now it's gonna be a much more comfortable ride. Honestly, even at plus six, they were not bad in the slightest. Like I am almost shocked by the glow up these things have had since DS1. Like it is completely absurd. I'm not even gonna fight you, dude. Like, I don't I don't care that much. And before anybody asks, I am not going to punch the ancient dragon to death. I, I refuse to do it. I'm here for the end of the game, and that is it. I know I, I get comments all the time from people asking me to do like the DLCs of these games. The issue with that is I simply don't have the the time or resources to do that currently. You know, I, I sort of need like stable income to dedicate that amount of time to making a video. Even then the video would end up being like two hours long if I did that. And the recording sessions would be fucking God knows how long. My recording sessions are already fairly lengthy. I mean, this one's running on about five hours now and I'm doing all the games separate too. So it's about five hours on Dark Souls 2 specifically. There are other things I do on my own. Like I make all my own thumbnails and all that jazz. It's just, I'm a one man crew. You can only expect me to do so much. Maybe someday down the line, I'll be able to dig deeper in and do the DLCs and stuff. But for right now, I'm just sticking to doing base game challenge runs and maybe some more of these like full series challenge runs because I enjoy the concept of that a lot. Now, I love this area, but here's my thing about it. There is no fucking way <laughs> An elevator is what brought us all the way up here, bro. Look at how far down that goes. Where the fuck did the manor go? Keep in mind, that's not really a criticism of the game, more so just a thing about it that I think is a little silly. That's the thing, right? Like, spatially, video games don't really have to make sense. I feel like that's just a uh, an expectancy that Dark Souls 1 kind of set up for us. Even then, DS1 isn't 100% fully consistent with its world either. DS2 just has this weird, fucked up nightmare realm. <laughs> 
where nothing makes sense and everything's in the wrong place. It's kind of cool in a way. I mean, to me, it gives the world this like alien otherworldly feel that I don't really think other Souls games really have. And there's nothing wrong with that. It is completely its own thing. I really like it. Although I see why some people would see that and get like, I don't know, kind of annoyed. I'm not one of those people. I think it's silly. I think it's fun. But yeah, that's my take on Dark Souls 2's really inconsistent world. All right, how much damage am I going to do to you? Probably not a lot. This dude has so much fucking defense. That was an interesting hitbox. Come on, get the fuck out of here. There we go. I bet it's probably really cold up here. Are you cold? I'm cold just looking at you. Go take a hot bath, you weirdo. All right, we're officially in the home stretch. Honestly, this playthrough was really fun. Probably because it was just a normal playthrough of the game. <laughs> This is a totally viable Dark Souls 2 build, in my opinion. Unlike in DS1, where I feel like you're better off using anything but the Kestis. Man, my range is so bad, I really can't hit anything. Kind of a weird thing to comment on, but I've always really liked the sound design of the giants in DS2. I just love how they sound. Something about them, it feels so distinctly them, you know? Like, I can look at this creature and be like, oh yeah, that thing would totally make that noise. Doesn't matter though, because he is dead. And he was the last of his kind. Kind of. Sort of. In the future. All right. Final two encounters. Then we will have officially punched our way through this entire fucking game. Honestly, this one was really fun. Like, I never expected this build to go as fucking hard as it did. <laughs> like, the Kestis is super viable in this game. Like, who fucking knew? I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of people knew. I've just never used it myself, you know? Oh, this is taking fucking hours. Watch me somehow throw myself off the fucking cliff again. At that point, that's just a lack of, like, object permanence. There we go. I mean, not bad. First try. Let's see if we can first try Nishandra. I mean, we fucking better be able to. I mean, Nishandra is way easier than Watcher and Defender, in my opinion. Oh. Yeah. That's a tad embarrassing, actually. See, here's the thing. That was probably the most avoidable death in this video. <laughs> so far. And of course, my punishment for that is having to walk fucking three hours back to the goddamn boss room. All right, and that is it. The run is over. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. That only took like, I want to say six hours. No, actually a little under six hours. Okay. I just looked at the time on the recording, but I got to put this down and record another day because it is, uh, let me see, almost one in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I, I record these at weird times. Um, that's my B. But yeah, this one was really fun, and uh, guess I'll see y'all in Dark Souls 3. Welcome to the third and final game in this video, Dark Souls 3. I was gonna include Elden Ring at the very end, but I don't know if I have time for that. <laughs> or the resources. Um, so we're just gonna stop here and maybe I'll do a separate Elden Ring video somewhere down the line if enough people request it. But yeah, for now, this is gonna be the last game. Uh, let's just get right into it. Oh, oh, what? Have I not played Dark Souls 3 on this computer? Oh, you know what? I reinstalled it because I was playing with mods uh, recently and I wanted to clear out all my shit so I didn't get banned. All right, that's perfect. <laughs> uh, we're following the same rules as the other runs. So I'm gonna go ahead and unequip both of these. How much damage do your fists even do in this game? Oh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. <laughs> it's fine, you know? You know, you gotta do what you gotta do in some cases. Uh, fun fact about Dark Souls 3, I got banned from it for like two months. Yeah, I installed the uh, Boss Rush mod way back in the day, and I forgot to clear my save data before I uninstalled the mod and went back online, which triggered their weird mod detector sensors, and yeah, I got banned. I actually managed to get unbanned just by contacting Bandai. They went ahead and looked at my account and just lifted the ban and they said, don't do that again. And then I did it again. <laughs> I used a separate account that time though. I made a whole nother Steam account just for playing Dark Souls with mods, simply because I do not want to get banned once more. This is going to be slow and painful, but at least you can parry Udix Gundir. It's mainly phase two that's going to be the pain in the ass. Come on, give me another. Whoa. 
There we go. Now he should transform, right? I'll be doing this for the next fucking 10 minutes. See, it's not as hard as it looks, honestly. Just stay close and you should be fine. Just avoid going directly in front of him because that's where all his hitboxes are. In fact, this takes comedically less time than fighting the Asylum Demon. Fun fact, I used to do some very casual speedrunning of Dark Souls 3. Uh, I did glitchless any percent. I think my best time was about one hour and 27 minutes. There we go. Not bad. I mean, I did get hit a couple of times, but yeah, that was a pretty smooth first attempt, honestly. The thing I'm concerned about is doing Vord of the Boreal Valley. Dear fucking God, I do not want to do that with bare fists. Man, it's good to be back in this fucking game. It's been a hot second since I played DS3. I think my last run was probably a Broken Sword run, which I've, I've done a lot of those at DS3. I genuinely find those very fun. Time to sprint like a terrified chicken. Yep, just don't stop to fight anything. I really don't have time for that. God, can you imagine if I just sat here and cleared every single one of these enemies with nothing but my fists? Come on, let me hit the bonfire. Let me hit the bonfire. Uh, I just want this Titanite shard. See ya. Should be another Titanite shard down here. I'm gonna go ahead and nab this shortcut. Holy shit. <laughs> And there we go. Now the run back won't be a massive pain in the ass. It'll happen to you too. Nah, I don't think so, buddy. Oh shit. <laughs> God, I hope I can do this on the first try. That'd be so nice, wouldn't it? How much damage are we working with? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> God, I've already taken damage. Oh no, I'm taking more hits. It is too early in the damn fight to be taking all this damage, man. Oh God, phase two couldn't be further away. Or rather, it couldn't feel further away. Yup, that's my first death. <laughs> Wait, stop. Where'd he go? <laughs> All right, attempt number two. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> So does anybody else find it completely ridiculous that we're closer to having Bloodborne emulated on PC than like an official port? Like that that's just astronomically stupid to me. I know Sony recently had that whole ordeal with uh, Concord, but to me that still is not dropping the ball as unbelievably hard as not releasing Bloodborne on PC or giving it a remaster or just anything. I mean, Bloodborne is one of the best selling PS4 games of all time. They would easily make a profit off of that. All right, phase two. Come on. God damn, dude. God damn, that tracking is ridiculous. Dude, fuck. God damn. Fuck. Holy shit. Oh, it's fucking over. Holy fuck, dude. That took almost two full hours of attempts. Maybe I just fucking suck, but... Oh, it's fucking over. We can move on to the rest of the goddamn game. We can get our case this. Fuck. That was goddamn ridiculous, dude. See, what made that so ridiculously fucking hard was the fact that I only had six flasks. That fight takes like 10 minutes and you're only allowed to make six mistakes inside that 10 minutes. I mean, technically it's slightly more than six, but fuck, man. That fight tore me apart. <laughs> Let's just go get that fucking case, this man. I don't know how good or how bad that weapon is, but... I'm about to fucking find out. Man, I never want to fight Vort with just fists ever again. <laughs> How much damage am I working with here? That is so much more reasonable. Right now, I'm just kind of running around collecting uh, Titanite shards before moving on to the next area. Because the next boss I'm planning on doing is probably going to be the Abyss Watchers. And I want to try to at least have a plus three before I do that. Let's see. How many shards do I have right now? All right. Looks like I got enough for a plus two. Wait a second. Do I have another Kestis? Wait. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know these were a two for one deal. At least in Dark Souls 3, I didn't know that. Okay, that might make things a little more interesting, actually. Looks like the fucking boxer build is back. How much damage am I doing? Whoa, that is super fucking usable. What the fuck? And it barely uses 
any stamina either. Look at that. You know, I had an idea for a video, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make it or not. I had an idea to go in and read um, Metacritic reviews of these games, like the Soul series, because I don't know if anybody here has ever read through Metacritic reviews, but they are <laughs> really interesting. I specifically mean user reviews, by the way, not like, not like critic reviews. The user reviews are fucking insane and kind of hilarious. Dude, what are you doing here? Get fucking punched to death. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my God, I think I fucking love this weapon. I've straight up never used it in this game until now. I mean, this really isn't much of a challenge run, but it is extremely fun. Kind of like with DS2. Giant enemy crab. See ya. Yeah, I love DS3. I can run past every fucking enemy in the game and never get punished for it. Ugh, gotta go through this. If I were doing a normal playthrough, I would just equip a dagger and then quick step through this shit. But since I'm doing case this only, I can't. Wanna go ahead and grab this, just so I can get the rest of my Titanite shards. And I'll probably go ahead and kill the Stray Demon too, just for a nice little level boost. What's up, old pal? Yeah, look at that damage! That is so perfectly fine! Yeah, that took no time at all. I fucking love video games! You know something? I have never broken a weapon in Dark Souls 3. Like, I know that weapon durability exists in this game, but does it really? I mean, weapons break so goddamn slow. Let's see, we've got two Titanite shards, an undead bone shard, a bunch of souls. Yeah, I think we're pretty stacked for the Abyss Watchers, to be honest. I will have to buy a couple Titanite shards, but other than that, we are set. Yeah, we can also infuse this and make it heavy. I think we are fucking set, dude. <laughs> Let's go beat the shit out of this boss. Oh yeah, we are so fucking set. This is just an aside, but holy fucking shit, Dark Souls 3 has some really good music. I think DS3 might have my favorite soundtrack in any Souls game, to be honest. All right, phase two. Oh wow, okay. Oh my God, I suck, I suck. All right, you see, that's what actually competent gameplay looks like. Jesus Christ. For anybody wondering, I do plan on doing Yorm with just the Caestus alone. I am not going to be using the Storm Ruler, which is not as insane as it sounds, trust me. If you see my first Dark Souls 3 video, then you know it's not that crazy. But if you haven't, then you might be kind of surprised, actually. It really isn't that bad. Like, it sounds bad when I say it out loud, like, oh, Yorm without the Storm Ruler, that must take forever. And it kind of does, but it's also not too hard, because I know all the tricks. Wake up, Wolnir. Damn, that broke fast. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna breathe? Ew. All right, come on. There we go. Come on. Come on, there we go. Man, you are just a little obnoxious. You know, I think this genuinely might be the most iconic shot from Dark Souls 3. Like seeing Irithyll of the Boreal Valley for the very first time, it's like, whoa. <laughs> That's something I kind of love about Elden Ring. You get so many of those like initial like whoa moments on your, in your first playthrough. Does anybody else absolutely love watching people play like Souls games for the very first time? Like I try to get my friends to play these games just so I can watch them play them. A first Souls experience is always like the most special one. So it's lovely getting to like semi relive that by like watching other people play. Anybody who's played uh, Outer Wilds will know exactly what I'm talking about. That is a game you truly only can experience once, at least in the intended way. And if you haven't played Outer Wilds, what the fuck are you doing? Go play Outer Wilds! Seriously, that game is so fucking good. You know, Dark Souls 3 is kind of weird. On one end of the spectrum, the game has some of the best and most challenging bosses in the entire series. You know, Slave Knight Gale, Nameless King, those guys. But then it also has bosses like this, and the Curse Rotted Greatwood, and Deacons of the Deep, you know, just bosses that are just kind of whatever. <laughs> like, Crystal Sage is not a very difficult fight. It can be if you come here with, like, no health, but I don't know, generally, I'd consider this guy to be kind of a pushover, especially now. I mean, I admit I'm a little overpowered for the fight, but even when you're appropriately leveled, it still feels, I don't know, more tedious than hard. Yeah, I wouldn't say Crystal Sage is one of my favorite bosses in this game. Have y'all played Dark Souls 3 Arch Thrones yet? If you don't know what that is, it's a really fucking good Dark Souls 3 mod. Probably the best one I've ever played. It's got a bunch of original bosses, it's got some original areas, uh, unique weapons, unique mechanics. It's 
it's fucking solid as hell. Uh, it's even got some cool recreations of some older Dark Souls areas. I won't spoil which ones, just in case you haven't played it, but y'all should check it out. It's really fucking sick. I thought the first patch of the mod was really rough on the balancing, but they've went in and changed some things, and honestly, I think it's in a pretty great place now. Yeah, can't recommend it enough. Oh wait, wait, I picked up the wrong soul item. Give me the ring. Yes. You know, this boss is actually kind of a pain in the ass with a broken sword. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a pain in the ass anyway, to be honest. He's a little obnoxious. Just die. Come on, just spam L1 until I win. Or maybe not. <laughs> that might be getting me into trouble. There we go, all right. Shouldn't have come in here with no Estus flasks. You know something interesting? I'm weirdly nostalgic for Dark Souls 3. Like, th that sounds weird to say out loud. Like, nostalgic for Dark Souls 3, the game isn't that old. But stop kidding yourself, this game is almost 10 years old. <laughs> I was a teenager when this game came out. I am in my mid-twenties. Jesus Christ, how time flies. You wanna know how I found out Dark Souls 3 was even coming out? I read it in a Gamer Cat comic. <laughs> Uh, does anybody else remember GamerCat? I do. I think that series has been on hiatus for a really long time, but that was like the first webcomic I ever actively kept up with. I remember loving it when I was younger. To an extent, I still kind of love it. You know, the humor in it is definitely very, uh, gamer comic. Be huh? <laughs> I'ma punch your lights out, bucko. <laughs> So yeah, the humor in it is definitely very, um, gamer comic humor, but I don't know. It's sweet, it's cute, I like it. Damn, that hit me? Oh, 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 we got him. I do not have a good build for PvP, I'm naked. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm playing online right now. We might both be out of flasks. Nope, he is not. What the fuck? Well, that puts a damper on things. <laughs> Slightly. GG, we've we've lost this one. What? Huh? What happened? A well-deserved victory. <laughs> what? All that for nothing? Oh, circling back to Gamer Cat, I actually have a little a little story related to that. Uh when I was way younger, I want to say maybe 14 or 15, I bought something from the Gamer Cat like merch store. It was a 3DS skin. They were selling these really awesome 3DS XL skins, and I kind of wanted one. And they had shipping instructions. And I thought to myself, like, hmm, if I ask them to write me a note, will they? I don't know why I thought this, I just I just wanted to see if they would. So just out of curiosity, I kind of said like, can you write me a note that says, here you go on it? And not only did they do it, they also sent me a little doodle with it of like Gamer Cat doing a thumbs up or something like that. And like, it was, I was shocked. I was like, you could have just sent me the skin and told me to fuck off. But no, you gave me like a little doodle and everything. I don't know, it, it was so sweet. Like they didn't have to do that. 14 year old me was, was ecstatic. I was like, oh, it's a Gamer Cat. Uh, they drew me! <laughs> they drew me something! Oh my god! You know, shout out to the to the author slash artist behind Gamer Cat. You are fucking Oh. <laughs> See kids, this is why we actually stop to fight enemies and we don't just run past them. But yeah, shout out to the artist slash author behind Gamer Cat. You are fucking awesome for that. They probably don't even remember doing that. It was like a decade ago. Yeah, I never really was the webcomic type growing up, but that specific webcomic I really did like. You know, my first playthrough of DS3, I had no idea that this shortcut was here. I don't know how I didn't know that. Somehow it just wasn't on my radar. There we go. That damage is fucking solid, man. Come on, let me parry you again. That was terrible. <laughs> Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. All right, I'm not gonna parry anymore. I'm gonna fight him normally now. I love this fucking boss. Sincerely, I think this is one of the best bosses in Dark Souls 3, in my humble opinion. Uh-oh. Ooh, ooh, that, that could have been bad. One more hit. Get out of here. Yeah, that didn't take very long at all. An Orlando. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love big castles. Sorry to the four British people in my audience. <laughs> I'm also sorry to like the four architecture nerds in my comments section that are gonna be like, um, it's not a castle. It's technically a cathedral. You know, Aldrich is one of my lesser favorite bosses in this game. He's not terrible, but I, f I hate chasing this fucker down. I also hate this fucking attack. I hate it a lot more in his face too, though. Speaking of which, oh, uh, for fuck's sake, get the hell out of here, Aldrich. And stop burning me with your flames, please. So we're not gonna do Yorm 
yet. I want to try to get my weapon to plus nine before doing Yorm. Oh god, this fucking room. I, I, I don't want to be in here. Get me out of here. Bad memories. Sorry, Mima. <laughs> Shout out to anybody that's ever fought Dancer of the Boreal Valley at the beginning of the game. <laughs> that's a fucking challenge for you. I've done it before only a couple of times. It is always a fucking nightmarish experience. It's her phase two mainly. Her phase one is honestly pretty easy, even at lower levels, but her phase two? Jesus Christ. Eh, she's not too bad if you're appropriately leveled though. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not here for you. I'm here to get my weapon upgraded. Oh God. We should be able to get all the Titanite chunk we need. How many Titanite chunks do we have so far? Seven. We need 12. Eight. Nine. Here's a fun tip for these guys, actually. You can actually get behind them. Yep, if you get behind them like this, then they, they literally can't hit you. You also won't have to deal with their annoying status effect either. And there you go. We just need one more Titanite chunk. And with that, we've got everything we need to take on Yorm. I like how far back the camera gets pulled whenever things are chasing you. <laughs> this is the action cam. <laughs> it's like those bits in Uncharted when you're running away from a car or something. Ugh. That is not a flattering angle. All right, here it is. We're gonna be here for a bit. <laughs> I think I explained this in my last Dark Souls 3 video, but the thing you really want to go for here is the hand. Yeah, you hit the hands enough times and he'll just fall right over. Yeah, see? Then we just smack him up here a couple of times, get a nice little repost. He's really not so tough. Come on, fall over, big guy. Fall over, come on. He's got to be close to toppling over. There we go. This should be it. Yeah, that's, that's it. See, he's not so tough. And now we get to do one of my favorite bosses in the game. I mean that. I find Dragon Slayer armor to be like, a really fun fight. Come on, stop turtling, dude. Oh, okay, fuck you. <laughs> nice. One more hit. There we go. <laughs> oh god, almost got killed by those projectiles. You know what, I got super fucking greedy near the end there, but... It's fine. Here's the infamous bonfire right next to a bonfire. I I sincerely wonder why they did that. Like, <laughs> that decision will forever perplex me. Maybe they just thought it'd be funny. Woof, the Grand Archives. I'm gonna be honest, this is one of my least favorite areas in the game. It is, it is just so damn long. It's so tedious to run through. Just let me through here. Let's just make it quick. You know, it honestly just now dawned on me that we're in the home stretch. Like I'm almost done with this recording session. I am not looking forward to editing all of this. <laughs> As of literally yesterday, a new Zelda game just came out, and I told myself that I am not buying that game until I am done with this video. I mean that too. I am not gonna let myself play this new Zelda game unless I finish this video first. I mean, this video's been in my backlog for like two weeks. And then it took almost a month! Whoops! <laughs> Truth be told, I expected Dark Souls 3 to be one of the more difficult games in this video, but it honestly just feels like a standard playthrough. Like, it doesn't really feel like I'm doing a challenge run, you know, besides... Vort? I don't ever want to see his face again. But yeah, I don't know, it really hasn't been too bad. I should really play Dark Souls 3 more, to be honest. It, it really has been a while. I mean, this is my first playthrough in like, six months. Or I don't know, however long it's been. And there we go. You know, a nice little no-hit phase one to boost the confidence. Can we no-hit phase two? No, we cannot. <laughs> don't wake him up. 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 Fuck! We were so close. That should be it, though. All right, home stretch. Final fucking boss of this goddamn marathon. Don't get me wrong, this has been fun, but dear God, three games back to back, man. I feel like that'll take it out of anybody. I, I sincerely cannot imagine the fucking burden that those God Run players go through. Y'all might actually be the bravest soldiers. You would not catch me fucking dead trying to no-hit one of these fucking games. I think this is by far my favorite kiln in the entire series. Uh, uh, both visually and the fact that you don't have to run like an hour to get back to the boss. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dark Souls 1 and 2, what the fuck was that all about? Oh, off to a fantastic start. Oh my god, I suck. I suck. Well, there it is. Uh, Alright, let's do it for real this time. Alright, phase two. Oh shit, shit. See, this is what it looks like when you actually know how to play the game. I am not somebody who knows how to play the game. That... Okay, I got greedy again, but it, it worked out this time. <laughs> yeah, that is it. 
I have now officially punched my way through the entire Souls trilogy. And I did it with that beautiful face. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to my one single channel member. Hi, Danny. <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to support me, I have a Kofi. Uh, I've got channel members. You can give me like, I don't know, $3 a month and you'll get a shout out at the end of every single video. But for now, I got to get to editing, <laughs> which will be uh, quite the endeavor. But hey, it's all worth it in the end. So yeah, once more, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.